Hey YouTube, this is Angie and I'm back with another video. I said I'm back with another video. It is lit, it is lit, it is lit. How are y'all doing today? I am doing just fine. Um, today we're going to be watching chills, clips, scary videos that will make you hide in the comments. Let's see if it makes you guys hide in the comments. I'm very curious about that. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel and give me a thumbs up. Let's jump into the videos. Mail, mail, you out here? Spectators gaze overhead at a bizarre white light piercing the sky. Adults and children alike gather in the street with their cell phones out. None of them can figure out what is going on, much less put the situation into words. The whole ordeal almost looks like a helicopter searchlight, except that it makes no noise and does not move at all. A NASA experiment or even a portal to an alternate dimension are two more possibilities, however unlikely they may be. Whatever this is, it happened somewhere over California in October 2018 and has never been properly explained. Dogman sightings are being caught on tape more often than ever. Here are two separate dogman encounters taken by different people years apart that are remarkably similar. The first video is taken in 2015 after a neighbor right noticed there? all the fruit had been picked from their apple and pear trees. It's late at night when this large creature with a broad face and beady white eyes comes up to the window for a closer look. It looks like the window is probably seven or eight feet from the you ground. You know, all these dogmen, judging from the lamp post across the way, this creature looks tall enough to reach food. up and pick fruit from a tree. Apparently, all of the food outside has been eaten, and now they're thinking about coming in. I'm surprised at the lack of detail showing because it's standing in the light, so I'm not sure if this is fake. It looks like it wants to climb in, but thinks better of it and eventually walks away. Real or fake, that video looks fake. similar to a different dogman encounter years later. In this sighting, a mysterious creature watches from a window late at night. Same as before, it has beady white eyes and on its head are two pointy ears, the signature trademark of a dogman sighting. This creature looks smaller than the other one, but its behavior is the same. It stares inside for a long time and then slinks away. And based on the sound it makes, whatever this creature is, it's far from human. A YouTube channel called Exploring with Eric relies on Randonautica to show them oh the scariest place they've ever seen and it doesn't let them down. They soon find themselves at the end of a long dirt road with multiple signs and one of them is a warning. Google wasn't able to translate the wording perfectly but apparently this sign says that the property is owned by a dangerous witch who has eyes on them at all times. If someone could tell me the full message, I would really appreciate it. They find two fences oh, lined shit. with creepy dying. dolls. Some of the dolls are burned and have parts missing, as if they were used for black magic rituals before being placed on display as a warning for all to see. It must have taken a lot of time and dedication to collect so many dolls, and I wouldn't be surprised if the children who own them are being kept somewhere nearby. At the end of the road, they find three homemade mannequins wearing old clothes that could be scarecrows for a small garden or more ritual props. I'm back, guys. Sorry. Something looks weird about the one on the left when they get closer. Since I don't see any crops, I don't think it's a garden. They come in the the way this is all set up looks more like a memorial, if anything. I wouldn't be surprised if some passed on individuals were buried below the earth here. And I don't think I want to find out. A little farther up the trail, they find this old shack that looks more like a place to hold somebody. Or something creepy like that rather than a Lay place down. to live. They are about to explore the shed when they feel distant eyes upon them and go running. I have to say that seems like the right choice. This entry involves a series of videos revealing a web of industrial looking tunnels that weave beneath the campus of Northern Arizona University. 
The I uploader know states that in October of 2018, he only reached the bottom of the stairs but recently decided to venture further. And close granddad writes, NAU was almost established as an insane asylum back in the mid-1890s, and rumor has it that these tunnels would have been part of that. He shares a link, which notes that the building was first built as a reform school for Arizona's so-called vicious youth. It's unclear why it remained empty for years upon completion. That's when, as Granddad mentioned, an insane asylum was proposed by the territorial legislature. For some reason, that wasn't followed through either. What isn't made clear is this short historical literature is when the tunnels were built and for what purpose. The recorder guides us through the dark tunnels, writing, I came across pathways that I could have potentially crawled, shimmied through, but chose not to because, one, they seemed a bit dangerously cramped at points, and two, I didn't want to spend too much time down there. I don't know how much farther these tunnels go until we find out what those tunnels were used for. The mystery may just be enough to haunt you. This abandoned house was a favorite haunt for squatters, and now it will soon be the favorite haunt of urban explorers. Published to YouTube by Lomar Mendez in March 2021. Lomar, Lomar oh and God, Chelsea he's a faker. into the seriously creepy house littered with random garbage. He left changed behind, his name because he was walls, getting and bullied. Gems that look like they've been around for at least a century. Wandering through the house, Omar opens his a name door is and as Omar. he does, listen closely. You can hear a voice whisper, "Look." I don't know. I've only really been here in about a year and a half. <laughs> The very first time we came here, we actually found homeless people stuff upstairs. A detour into the bathroom brings viewers one of the grossest things seen in this top 10, a pile of discarded hair in the sink. They enter a bedroom, which might explain all the hair, as the room once housed people. Their belongings are still scattered across the floor. Further along, they find scraps of paper with strange noises written on them. They say, disintegrates with light and zap the ground. As they're heading upstairs, something falls in the room behind them pushing them to pick up the pace. She's different from the others. She's a witch. Let's see, let's go ahead then, because... A YouTube thinkers. channel there called Exploring with Fighters travels to oh, the same tunnel system as Dark Arts TV. He is explaining his nervous anticipation like when a them. loud scrape occurs directly over his shoulder. No one is near him. You can tell by everyone's distant chatter that they are pretty far away. Listen for yourself and tell me if you agree no one else was nearby. At least no one alive. This video is going to be far they all get a really bad feeling upon discovering what could be fragments of human. Look at this part and tell me if he is tossing a part of someone's jaw or just a random piece of debris. Not so I was bold. wondering if these could belong to an animal, but then they discover a large collection of combs left over top. Like this one, for example. So I think we may have sadly found our answer. They are ready to leave before they come across any other horrible discoveries. But something follows them. This extremely creepy low laugh follows them on their way out. While the rest of the audio remains the same. In fact, what's especially scary is how one fake. of these girls lets out a small chuckle shortly before this noise comes out. Almost as if it's laughing in response. Listen for yourself and tell me if you think this is edited or not. This Sounds ghostly edited. figure is the Thief of Souls, Where'd published on Land on TV in November of 2021. This man encountered an obscure figure lurking on an empty road at night. After wandering through a quiet village in the late hours, the man spies the silent figure in the darkness. He walks in another direction, but soon sees the figure. Like, does it look like something standing in the room to you? Oh, I've seen this one. Like, I've, I've checked, like, went back and forth three times, and I... <sighs> he even does a side-by-side -side to try and make sense of it. 
So, okay. Nothing, right? Like, what the f***? He then sets up the monitor, grabs a ball from another room, and throws it in there to see if anything changes on the monitor. Definitely something in there. The mysterious figure is still there. Many in the comments think the T-Rex and other items in the room may be casting shapes that create the shadow figure's form. No. Like others in the thread, I'm thinking it's probably a shitty nanny cam that doesn't no. capture shadows in their subtleties. So many objects in the room Have are coming together to make what looks like a figure. After all, the camera did make the T-Rex look like a terrifying baby. A scary video by Annie Magic has gone viral in Russia because of how much creepy stuff is in it, beginning with a black plastic trash bag found while exploring an abandoned house late at night. What's inside confuses her as much as it does frighten. Why would she go through a trash bag? That's it sounds like That's she says planted. look, but it probably means something different in Russian. So tell me what this handwritten message really says. She looks up in time to see a car stop and drive off. It's strange to see anyone out here at all, let alone so late at night. And so she goes to where the vehicle last was. The grass is wet and cold underfoot, and it soaks through her shoes. It takes her a great while to get there, and then, much That's to her dismay, stage. she finds what's been left behind. Is this some random Nautica bullshit? Let's get into it. This is three hours long. Obviously, we're not doing it for three hours. So it's Here's one thing you need to do before you buy anything online. Don't spend another dime on Amazon. Mercifully hanging out of her mouth for now, uh -huh. but if it moves in any further, then it would be reaching down. Mr. Geist couldn't be any clearer. He wants them gone. I don't think I'd ever go back to that place. Smoke wafted through the yellow line train on January 12, 2015. While it filled the train, commuters waited over 35 minutes for help to escape. The cause Damn. is believed to have been an electrical issue in the tunnel. When the issue occurred, it forced commuters on the platform to evacuate. That's when train 302 pulled towards the platform and took off again. But it was so thick the train operator was blinded. He pulled to a stop in the tunnel. The train's fans were pulling smoke inside. And firefighters were only dispatched when they received a 911 call about 7 minutes later. Meanwhile, the passengers on the train could barely breathe and many got down on the floor. In the raw video of the train, Damn. you can see just how bad it is inside the wagon. And you can hear people cough. Well, most lie or Break squat the on the floor. Over the intercom, they are told to remain calm and not to open the doors. Some called 911 to describe where the train was located so that rescuers could be sent down. Out of the 380 people who were evacuated from the train, 86 were treated, 9 were treated outside the station, and 1 passed away. Have you ever wondered if a ghost might appear in your next selfie? Well, this video is evidence that they're all around us at all times. The girl in the video is using a Snapchat filter, which appears to be capturing a nearby ghost. At least the filter is putting dog ears on a face that doesn't exist. The girl asks the ghost to stick its tongue out for her. When she realizes there may be two spirits there as two dog filters appear in the empty space, you want to stick your tongue out for me? Because this is pretty... Whoa. Whoa, there's two of them. Throughout the video, one of the dog filters disappears only to reappear in a different place. The girl tells the spirits they are welcome there and just to clean up after themselves. Then the bigger ghost moves closer. She asks if it's going to stick its tongue out at her, only to have the dog disappear again. 
and then are you just going to uh no okay are you gone are you gonna come back um that was a jump scare if I've ever saw one. Are these friendly ghosts or villainous pranksters? Your pranksters. guess is as good as mine. All I can say for sure is that something suspicious is happening here. A team of ghost hunters are oh using God. a modified Kinect camera to capture Those paranormal presence fake, in the historic Houghton Mansion in North Adams, Massachusetts. It was once owned by a wealthy businessman, but has since been converted to a Masonic temple and is believed to be haunted by otherworldly spirits. The person in green is one of the hunters, but listen to what they hear. What was that? Yeah, what was that? I, mean, I was walking. No, 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 no it was the voice. voice. Yes, that was a girl's voice. Yeah. across the forest with very slow movements while well, many have claimed this Girl, is an infamous she. legend the flickering effect of the video makes me question the authenticity of it it's nevertheless it's even the slightest possibility of this video being real is That's enough to fake. make it impossible to look away from a woman with an octopus on her face to tries to laugh it off despite ah. her extreme fear what does she say here <laughs> It's mercifully hanging out of her mouth for now, but if it moves in any further, then it would be Gross. reaching down her throat. She is one wrong move away from having her oxygen cut off, its tentacles squirm around her eyes and across her tongue as she screams Ew, and pulls the mouth, creature free dude. with one last burst of strength. The octopus itself looks like it came straight out of the ocean. I can only imagine how disgusting the lingering <laughs> aftertaste <laughs> must have been. Uh, Everyone knows no seedy stuff, stuff happens, happens under bridges, under bridges. And, YouTuber and YouTuber Last, Last Leaf, Leaf Studio, Studio found, found evidence of this in July of 2016, posting a video entitled, Some Creature Creeps Under the Pedestrian Bridge in Kiev. The footage shows traffic passing by on a highway in Ukraine's capital as the cameraman I've is posted alongside like this. a pedestrian walkway. Scanning the scene, the camera lands on the pedestrian bridge overhead. Look closely here. Beneath the bridge, you can see a large creature, apparently somehow holding onto the yeah, underside of this bridge, creeping across it bit by bit. You can even see its limbs move as it makes its way across. At first in darkness, the figure makes its way towards the light. Bam. A close-up of the creature reveals that, that this shows, figure is distinctive. Uh, its outline and limbs seem to be that of a human, or at least that of a humanoid creature. But what human can traverse the underbelly of a bridge like that, and why would they? The other option is that it's something with an immense amount of strength. What do you think it is? When the your troll. dog sees something you don't, their harrowing sixth sense can send chills down your spine. That's what happened to TikToker Alpha Ocean 22 who writes, I live alone and just found out about the previous owner. Alpha Ocean's footage begins abruptly with her dog barking into the darkness. <laughs> The dog is on high alert, his body language that of defense. He seemed growling and springing across the bed. Needless to say, the animal's reaction to whatever lies beyond terrifies its owner to no end. Terrifies in the follow-up video, even there. Alpha Ocean explains exactly what happened in the initial footage. From Diesel, essentially growling at nothing physical. I'm definitely not in a position to say what it was in the video or what is real and what's not. Personally, I've always been real spiritual, so I know what I felt. She says she was woken up at one in the morning from her dog Diesel, growling at nothing physical. She explains that she's in no position to say exactly what it was that Diesel it. was growling at. I it was the first it. time the dog has acted this way. She, however, has always been spiritual and felt something out. in the home. She claims this wasn't the first time something unusual like this has happened to her. She calls the home her wildlife sanctuary, but <laughs> says she's had some sense for a while that she's not supposed to be there. She discovered from neighbors that the owner of the home was a very closed off man who lived alone with his mother who passed away. Alpha Ocean states she'll leave the rest up to the viewer's interpretation. 
So how do you interpret this? Do dogs have a sixth sense? And if so, did Ocean's pet perceive the presence of the homeowner's dearly departed? Or was this dog sensing something else? I guess we'll never know for sure. It's early in the morning when somebody wakes up on the wrong side of the bed. And I mean that literally. The silhouette of a hand silently beckons beneath his brother's bed. The uploader of this video says the creepy shadow hand appeared one morning without warning and that it's real. I guess he was too afraid to go under the bed and find out what uh, it was no. because the video ends then and there. Can't say I blame him. Hopefully somebody is either. holding their arm over the bed to create an illusion with their shadow of a hand reaching out because otherwise this is just beyond creepy. Some videos on the internet can haunt you. February 20th, 2003, Station Nightclub, a great white concert. The headliner takes the stage seconds after they open with their billboard hit Desert Moon. Pyrotechnics are launched by the tour manager as part of the spectacle. Little does he know that the acoustic foam located in the ceilings and walls around the stage will soon go ablaze. Most initially believed it was part of the show, but soon the crowd began to understand that this was not a controlled incident. The band's lead vocalist, Jack Russell, said into the microphone, Wow, that's not good. Before some of the band and their entourage fled the stage via the west exit, a stampede towards the main exit resulted in a bottleneck and trampling. Cameraman Brian Butler for WPRI-TV of Providence was there that night filming for a piece on nightclub safety. Some of his footage was released to national news stations. If you're okay. wondering if Come you on. can stomach the footage, take ahead. notes from Reddit or Buffalo 87 who writes, you will cut out. If you've been in a car accident, don't call that an attorney. Use guys. this AI app instead. That's out. In just 30 seconds. So. seconds later, somebody is holding the camera in the middle of the woods. Shortly before the video ends, many people have pointed out that this is not enough time to get back down the steps. So a big question about this video is what happened during the time lapse. Some people say that this was an art project, but if so, nobody has stepped forward as the creator, which is usually what happens once a video has gone viral. None of it adds up. A TikToker named Presley Belshare is making a video when her closet door opens from the inside. Coincidentally, it happens to be at the exact moment the male backup vocals kick in during the song, which unfortunately I don't think I can play in this video. Presley Belshare says that she did not plan this video at all. I probably believe her because when the door opens, it looks like a white flash of light comes from within the closet if you look close enough. Yeah, Let me know I if you think around. I'm way off I base or if you think you can see it too. A YouTuber named Kelsey Davies is investigating oh, a haunted so house in the neighborhood in California with a particularly nefarious one. Not no until medium. you look at the box, that definitely says cremation service. One, until you look at the box that definitely says cremation services. If this is what we think it is, which I think it almost definitely is, then they should be properly placed in an urn, not out in the open like this. And if there are more items like this lying around, then maybe this building is haunted after all. This video stands as a clear warning to always verify who is at your door before you answer it. This ring video was originally posted to TikTok by Wins Home Awareness. The video shows a man wearing a hood approaching the door of this residence. It's nighttime. He rings the doorbell and when the homeowner opens it, the man immediately enters without asking. It's clear he is a stranger. When the homeowner tells the man he needs to leave, the intruder starts stammering incomprehensibly. Who are you? Everybody knows. How are you? You need to leave. How are you? Out there. What's the reason here, Tom? The homeowner has to physically grab the man's arm and shove him outside. As he slams the door shut, the man starts pounding on it. What? What's the stairs here? Come on, where are you going? What's the stairs here? Goodbye. Even though he's now locked out, the intruder stands on the front step looking right. in. He tries the handle several times, just waiting there. All right, guys.
that's going to be the end of the video. Tell me what you thought about the video down in the comment section below. I was bored. I fell asleep. I don't know about you guys. Give me a thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed. If you woke up today, you're already winning.